Hey, what's up, my people? It's me, G5. And, um, you got five minutes? I want to talk to you about something. And I just need five minutes. Samantha has lived her whole life in different foster homes. Now, living in a small town, she never feels like she's quite fits in, even with her own current foster family, who might adopt her, or the boy who follows her around doing her classwork. So perhaps naturally, that she doesn't know what to do with a curious tag along little sister named Olivia. One day, Sam curiously ditches Olivia, who wanders off into the woods on her own and disappears. And that's how the story goes. This movie is directed by Jeremy Luter. I'm not familiar with his work. The movie stars John Emmett Tracy, Hannah, Jeremy, Johanna Newmarch, and Jessica McLeod. So in The Hollow Child, we're introduced to Samantha, who is a, um, basically she's a foster child and she's living with a new family and she's trying to be on her best uh, behavior because she wants to be adopted by this new family. Um, she's a teenager. And um, she has a little sister named Olivia that she usually babysits or take care of. So that's where um, our story begins. So throughout the story, we're introduced to um, some of her friends, her best friend and a boy that likes her at school. So um, we get a little cast, uh, uh, the supporting cast. Uh, it's pretty good. The acting is pretty good. And... Um, I kind of I kind of enjoyed the slow pace of this movie. I must say I wasn't happy with the ending, but I'll get to that when I do the end of this um, this uh, review. Spoiler warnings, people. One day, while Samantha is babysitting Olivia, um, she she has the bad habit of making Olivia walk home by herself, where they live. live um, has you have to go through a forest basically to get home so one day she tells her to go home I'll meet you and um, the little girl disappears um, she wanders off in the woods and hears like strange music and then like she disappears so then our story starts so with Olivia missing and Samantha feeling the heat on that she feels real guilty so she wants to go out and look for Olivia so she does everything she can she's um, looking in uh, she tells the police the family goes looking for her and they have search you know a search in the forest for her and um like I guess the next couple of days um, Samantha just stays outside and she wants to um, sleep outside and, and she's looking for um, Olivia so um, one night that she's outside and she's sleeping Olivia mysteriously uh, reappears and she's got dirt all over her and everything and she just seems like she's fine. So a little later on in the storyline we find out that Olivia is acting very strange. She's doing very weird things. She's plucking the eyes out of her dolls. She's laughing at murder. <laughs> she's just not acting herself and no one's noticing, noticing this but Samantha and Samantha's like can't you see, like, there's something wrong with this chick? There's something seriously long, wrong with this little girl. But no one believes her. So at one point, Olivia starts doing some heinous and creepy shit. And one by one, Samantha's friends disappear. Um, I'm not going to tell you any more about that aspect of the movie. But it's pretty cool. Also, I almost forgot, Samantha keep on seeing, like, a little girl in the forest that trying to tell her something and um, I'm not sure she's paying attention to it fully but throughout the movie she will throughout the movie there's been uh, this redhead woman who pops up and you know she's like the town crazy people make kind of fun of her and but you know it's a typical horrible horror movie trope like uh, she, you know that she's been troubled by the same thing that this young lady has been troubled by so she has to get her information from her you know so, um, but it's, you know, it's a pretty typical setup. Um, 
Samantha keeps on finding clues that this little girl is something wrong with her and she's not who we think she is. So, um, she tries to convince people again, but people just don't believe her. So, it is what it is. The hollow child. Hello, child. Hello, child. No, <laughs> the hollow child. It's pretty good. But, um, let me tell you. It gets very, it, it gets, like, they build the movie up, and, um, the storyline's pretty good, and then, like, at the end, it seems like someone just gave up at the end of the storyline. Uh, I didn't like how it ended, ended, it was very predict um, predictable, like, uh, I could see this coming a mile away, um, especially how they, like, the very last end, like, the very, like, shock, they just, you know, trying to give you a little jump or whatever. And it was like, oh, I knew that, you know. But um, other than that, it's pretty much a typical horror movie. You're trying to figure out, you know, what the little girl is and where's the original little girl and stuff like that. Um, the Hollow Child, I recommend for a quick watch. I'll give it, I don't think it's the greatest movie. I didn't like the end, but it was the acting was decent. Um, there's not that many special effects in it, but it gives you a creepy feel. It has a slow burn, and sometimes those are good movies. Um, so, I enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't spectacular, um, and it wasn't horrible, but it could have been better um, as far as the storyline goes near the end. But, again, uh, I believe solid acting was good. Um, I... There was like no one I didn't believe in their role. Um, maybe the best friend, she wasn't that good. Uh, well, I can't like everything, right? So it was okay. Uh, oh, I, I didn't like it. I just didn't like the end. But to me, it's it's very typical horror movie. It's, it's uh, nothing new. You're not seeing nothing new here. There's not a new idea or a great way of uh, special effects to tell you this uh it's just a decent movie um i'd check it out if you're bored check it out but uh i want to say run out and buy it <laughs> or rent it you know you might you might be disappointed um but this is has <laughs> sorry this has been my review g5 um thank you guys for listening uh sorry it took me so long to get another one up but I was busy living life. <laughs> no, sir. I, I had some issues I had to take care of. But I will be back every week with a new video. I promise myself that. And you guys, if you feel. I promise myself that. And you guys, if you're even watching. Uh, thank you guys. Love you guys. Peace out. For reals.